for more big time hoops at the University of Maryland. The Terps women's basketball team hits the floor in less than an hour. Meanwhile, the Terps men try to keep the winning going when they take the court tomorrow night. WMAR 2 News' Step Sean Stefner has more on both squads. He's in College Park tonight. The Maryland women tipping off with Penn State here this evening, and they do so as the new number eight team in the country. The Terps rising two spots in the rankings today as they go for win number five in a row. Meanwhile, on the men's side, they are looking to sweep their three-game homestand when they take the floor tomorrow night against number 21, Indiana. First-year head coach Kevin Willard has his guys rolling as they get into the meat of the conference schedule. The Terps are coming off a couple of consecutive blowout wins. 73-55 last Wednesday over Wisconsin, 82-63 on Saturday over Nebraska. Now incoming is Hoosiers matchup nightmare Trace Jackson Davis. The 6'9 senior averaging 19.6 points and 10.7 rebounds per game, 27.3 and 13.8 in the last four games. In the last 30 seasons, only Jackson Davis and Tim Duncan have averaged at least 19 points, nine boards, and three blocks per contest. He's the best player in the country right now. He he gets everyone else shots. <clears throat> He's a willing passer. He's an unbelievable rebounder. He pushes the ball up in transition. Uh, he's really, really tough in the mid post area. He's almost impossible if he posts up in the middle of the lane. I mean, they have, ve they have very good players top to bottom, but he is the best college basketball player right now. He's a special talent. He's going to be a big time player, uh, the NBA for sure. So I'm really excited. It's just a good test for me and my uh, defensive capabilities. The Terps trying to snap IU's five-game winning streak. Maryland has momentum, too. Their past two games, the first time in 13 years, they have posted back-to-back 15-plus -back point wins in league play. They look to keep it going on Tuesday night when tip-off arrives at 9 p.m. Tonight's women's game begins at 6. In College Park, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.